All right, y'all, here's the latest. Um, our dough that was, I thought was getting ready to kit out. Uh, she tricked me. Uh, we're actually dealing, I, so, okay. So uh, we're, we're dealing with pregnancy toxemia, okay? So pregnancy toxemia and ketosis is gonna be the same thing. One is prior to kidding, pregnancy toxemia. Uh, ketosis is gonna be after kidding. She's almost chewing a cud, which is good. Um, so last night, so here's, here's what we did to figure this out. Um, look at these ketosis strips. That's a pretty high, pretty high rating of ketones, so. She has pregnancy toxemia, ketosis, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's not good. And here's why this happened. I bought this dough. She was heavy bred. She was fat and way over, way overweight. Um, she came to the farm. I don't grain as much as other do. Others do. I do grain my goats, but. I guess not as much as she was getting grained. And I think between that and just the picking order between, you know, her and the other goats here, um, she did not get a chance to eat as much grain as she was used to. So guys, she is, she's going downhill really fast. Um, three days ago, I thought that she was getting ready to kid. Her ligaments are gone. And uh, she was just kind of laying over there in the corner sometimes by herself, sometimes with one of her other friend goats, you know, and uh, she, I was like, oh yeah, she's she's close because her ligaments are gone. So I just thought she was kind of just finding her little spot to kid. Well, the first day passed, nothing. Second day passed, nothing. Third day passed, and I'm like, man, this isn't right. So I go back out there and I try to, she's moved, but I try to get her stood up and, you know, see if she, I haven't seen her eating, I haven't seen her drinking any water. So I get her up, and uh, she doesn't want to stand. Well, there you go. That's that's your sign right there. She feels she's weak in the in the hind end. She's not eating. I mean, there's high quality alfalfa right in front of her. She doesn't want nothing of it. Um. Anyway, so here is a a goat that's got pregnancy toxemia. It is a uh, it's a nutrition problem. So, um, is it my fault? Yes and no. Um, I bought the goat bread and with, you know, doing that, you're, there's a chance that you, you're going to deal with that in the last six weeks of pregnancy. And that's what we're dealing with. Um, is it because I've been feeding them wrong? Not wrong. Uh, but different and the difference in the, the feed that she was getting and, and that she you know before she came here and that she's got now uh, it threw her off and it's it's her body's way of trying to keep um, enough energy going to the kids um, it starts I think what it is is it actually starts like breaking down her fat tissues and using that energy um, to keep growing her kids, which is just, it's just an awful thing. It's sad. So this year, it's just been like one thing after another. Um, I, I don't know. I, here we are. So I'm going to treat her the best we can. I, this has happened one other time with me. Um, we lost her about three years ago. Um, she, she actually was a, um, another goat that, <clears throat> just like this I bought her she was heavy bred getting ready to kid out everything was fine and then like overnight she she went like this and we started treating her it was too late so we lost her um, we lost her I guess it was two days after she kitted uh, we lost her so here's what we're gonna do um, pregnancy toxemia or ketosis treatment um, you got three options. You got you got NutriDrench, you got propylene gly glycol, or you have uh, a molasses caro syrup mixture. 
I don't have any Caro syrup, so what I'm going to do is Nutri Drencher this morning, and then this afternoon I'm going to do the Caro syrup molasses. Um, with that, um, this has got propylene glycol in it, and propylene glycol actually will um, will cause their appetite to go down a little bit, uh, or a lot really. This is just maybe a little bit less than just straight propylene glycol. Um, I will also drench her with some water because she's not getting any water, so I'll give her probably three or four of those. Um, and I'll give her vitamin B complex, um, not intermuscular, we'll just put it under her skin. Uh, I think it's 20 cc's per, uh, I'm sorry, one cc per 20 pounds. I'm looking at giving her about six or seven cc's. So symptoms of pregnancy toxemia is gonna be uh, kind of like a stiff back end or um, not able to stand, um, not wanting to eat, not wanting to drink. Uh, they call it stargazing or, you know, like their head's just gonna be kind of sticking up and like staring off into space possible blindness so if you like go like this they won't even flinch um it's a bad thing it's really sad of course that's what we're dealing with this year i mean that's it's just been nuts so here's what we're gonna do got an 18 gauge uh needle with a, a little 12 cc syringe Vitamin B complex, okay? This is gonna hopefully get her wanting to eat. We're gonna give her about seven cc's. So put your air, pull your, pull your plunger out to your seven cc's or your desired cc. Put your needle in, put the air in there. Turn your bottle over. Pull what you want out. Okay. Now there's gonna be air in here. Um, you, you don't necessarily wanna put that air into their body. Um, so what I'll do is I'll push the plunger up a little bit until it you see that like people like flick and then like push it out and it squirts out. That's what you want to do. So you give it a little flick that gets the air bubble to the top of the needle. And then when you push it out, just like a touch, like one CC, it'll push that air bubble out. So you want to do that. Um, let me move the camera and we'll see if I can give you a shot of this shot, a shot of the mm -hmm. shot. Okay. This may be like a terrible camera angle, but this is all I got. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, she's like pretty much gasping for air. She's she's not doing well. Um, this is how you give a subcutaneous cont shot. Try to eat that alfalfa. Um, you want to do it right here behind the shoulder. So this is actually her shoulder here. She's got it kind of tucked up underneath her. You pull out a what they call a tent of skin. So you pull it out. Take your needle, put it in there like that. Withdraw so that you know you're not taking any blood out. You don't want to shoot a, you know, put a shot into her bloodstream. And then go ahead and inject the vitamin B. Pull it out and then rub it in. Okay, that's how you do a shot. If I sound <clears throat> a little bit, uh, I don't know, frustrated or discouraged or whatever, uh, I am, 100%. <laughs> so, here we are. It's frustrating. I've had an absolutely crazy year of goat farming. And uh, I'm going to be honest, man, I, I am like half half to to the point of saying I'm done with it if someone came along and they offered me a decent amount for my um, goats I would probably sell them all 
And this is caust caustic, so this is gonna burn their throat. Um, I'm gonna give it to her. She smells it. Smell good? You smell that molasses? So uh, what I do, uh, we need to give her about two cc's. I'm just gonna get a squirt in there. There's one. There's two. Let her, let her lick on that a little bit. She's hardly even wanting to lick on it. Hold on it. All right. <clears throat> okay. Last thing I'm gonna do. This is gonna make her <clears throat> throat burn. Cause right now that mm. injectable, or injectable, that uh, Nutri-Drench is just sitting in her mouth. I'm gonna fill up this. Drench, drencher. So I got about 20 cc's of just plain water. Stick it in the back of the throat. Go slow. You don't want it to go down the wrong pipe. See if she'll swallow it. Okay, she swallowed that. Mm. Yeah, I know. Mm. This is just trying to keep her hydrated, guys. She's not ate or mm. drank in quite a while. Mm. She's drinking it, mm. kinda. So that's good. I'd love for her to be able to recover. Um, chances are she won't. I talked to my vet last night. Got an awesome vet. I can text him on a Friday night. Um, told him what was going on. And, uh, yeah, it's possible we'll have to do a C-section. I don't know. So this is about, yeah, I don't know, four or five of these. Mm. Now she's got some fluids, mm. so that's going to help her. Mm. And one more. Mm. Yeah, I know. Guys, it's, it's such a terrible thing. Um, you know, it's pretty much this goat is just dying. It's pretty much just dying. And, uh, there's really not a whole lot you can do about it. I mean, there's treatment. Like I said, you can do the propylene glycol or the Nutri-Drench and the vitamin B complex. And um, there's a stuff called CMPK or something like that. Uh, I'm going to try to pick some of that up today. And it's a calcium, magnesium, something mix. Uh, one other thing, if, they, if they're not sternal, if they're not directly up and down, you got to sling them. Put them up in a sling so they get um, vertical. She's laying vertically, tongues hanging out and everything. Um, I'm gonna try to stand her up though. If she can get up on her feet, that's good for him. That's all I can do.